Hi there, I want to talk to you about doing a Java performance analysis on ZOS Unix using CompuWare's Topaz for Java Performance tool. First we're going to select a measurement called Idle Today, which is a WebSphere Liberty Profile application server. And we're going to take a look at its vital statistics. Here we see that there's CPU time. We can look at the heap memory allocations. We can look at the number of threads that are executing and we can look at the classes that are loaded. So at the beginning here we see that the WebSphere was basically idle and at some point we started driving load onto it which caused the CPU to spike up quite high and at the same time you see that the classes, additional classes were loaded, additional threads were created and the memory allocation and garbage collection started happening much more frequently at a higher rate. You see the zigzag pattern, that is programs allocating memory and then garbage collection coming along and cleaning up that memory. And you see that it increased dramatically at this point. As it kind of moves up to the right, you see we're approaching that maximum heap uh, allocation. And at that point, we get to a point where we have to do a deep, deep uh, garbage collection to clean up enough so that we have uh, available memory to continue executing. So that's uh, something we can look at in more detail. We can uh, drill into this a little bit more with a scaling uh, selection as we scale up and we see the data points are moved further apart so we can look at more individual items more easily. And then I can double click to reset that back to the original. We're going to take a look into the classes area here. You see we've got about 14,000 classes that were loaded. We're going to drill into this and see which one of those classes were using the most CPU. Here you see there's a bunch of CPU calculations that we do to actually figure out which ones are using the most CPU in the system. And we're going to look in one particular one and we're going to start to drill down into that to give you an idea of what it looks like in the call stack. So this call stack basically shows you what was being executed when the CPU was being used. So this gives you an idea that DB2 was being used in this particular call and that it was using this particular uh, API was using about 6.4% 6, 6 of the CPU at that time. So we can go back now to the JVM information and here we're going to see again our vital signs of the JVM and we're going to drill into the threads. Normally if there's block threads you'll see a red line here and a, a legend will indicate a block threads. Again here we repeat the chart. We're just going to close it up and we're going to select the time that these threads were actually executing. And you see here that we've got the thread name, the thread group name, the thread type and the state of that thread, whether it was runnable or suspended or waiting for something. And in this case, we're in good shape because all of our threads are actually runnable 100% of the time. If we saw block threads here, we would be a little bit concerned about that and make sure that we check the amount of time uh, that they were blocked to see if that was you know, having an impact on throughput. And then we can see the uh, total time the threads were actually in use. So let's go back to our JVM and kind of a, just let you know that we kind of wrapped up our little summary here. And as you can see, Topaz for Java Performance provides visibility in the JVM on ZOS and can help identify problems and in many cases where to look for solutions. The tuning of Java on the mainframe could potentially save dollars.